Hey guys, welcome back to Patrick's Corner. This is Troy. Uh, today's February 1st. Thought I'd shoot a quick video. Uh, being February 1st, you guys know that uh, PSA releases what their monthly specials are. And uh, I'm pretty excited about this month's monthly specials again. As uh, you probably have seen possibly in my last videos, PSA specials for January and February, the big one was uh, they offered $5 grades. Uh, the kicker on it was, was you had to send in 50 cards. And so, and some of the guys that collect out there, they just can't get together 50 cards to do it. It's just hard to do. And uh, luckily for me, I've got a bunch of friends that uh, grade cards along with me. And so we, the last month, we got together like 50, 56 cards, I think it was, and sent it off. We're still waiting for the turnaround of those cards, but we're able to hit that. So this month, though, that they're offering, they're not offering $5 grades again. They are offering $5.25 grades, and the minimum is only 25 cards. So I'm, I'm, hey, I'll take that. Go up by one quarter, and yet I only have to send, you know, minimum half of what I, uh, half of half of what it was, 25 cards. Now I could probably still send in 40, 50 cards, easy, easy. But um, anyways, uh, that's one of their specials. Now all those cards have to be worth less than $100. And what they mean by that when they say that is when they, when you send it to them, how much would you think the card is worth ungraded when you send it to them? So an example would be if I happen to have an autographed Clay Matthews card, which I did send one in the last one, uh, it's worth about 60 bucks or so, maybe 50 bucks. Now, if I grade it and it comes back a PSA 10, you know, I may be able, if I ever wanted to sell it, I won't, but if I wanted to sell it, I could probably make $150 off it. Um, but I can't do that because what happens if it comes back graded and it's a low grade? So uh, you have to tell the value of what it is worth when you send it. So anyways, so those are $100 in less cards. Uh, the second offer they're doing is $8 grades, which is still a really good offer. Um, and it's only a 10 card minimum. And those are cards that are $250 or less. So if you've got a few nice cards that are $150, $200, you could send those in and it only has to be eight cards and for eight bucks get those suckers graded. Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good deal. Um, uh, whether you're um, whether you're just going to send a couple in or whether you're going to send a ton in. Now I will say this: if you get, if you feel that you're going to be getting a lot of cards graded, like more than ten cards uh, in any year, uh, it would be smart for you maybe to look into PSA and maybe just get a get a membership. Um, if you've got less than ten cards or you're real sporadic on it, you know, then maybe don't get a membership. No big deal there. Um, I know that there's some guys that uh, have groups that get together and uh, send out cards all all as one big one. I may consider that. I may consider that sometime. I got some other guys that are willing to do it too. I've not uh, gone over that far yet, um, as far as people sending me cards that to to send and grade in for them. Um, I don't know. There's some people that I, I just don't know. So we'll we'll see on that one. But anyways, I just want to tell you about that one for PSA memberships. I did get something in the mail here the last few days. I'm not sure if I showed this card. It is a Randall Cobb uh, rookies and stars. It is a, they call it Studio Rookies. It's gold. It's actually number to 500. It's only a PSA 8, but here's the kicker on it. I paid less than $2 for it. I was shipping and handling. It was it was actually less than $4. So for, for you know, through $3, I think in 75 cents or something like that, I'll take this card. It'll look good in my collection. It's Rookies and Stars. I like Rookies and Stars, so that will look good in my collection. I did get one other card, and this is a, a Ryan Grant jersey card. It is from the 2009 uh, rookies and Stars. It is numbered to uh, 265. Really sweet looking card. It's got it's the red version. It's got the red colors on the side here. Looks really sharp. I don't buy too many of these, but it just looks so neat with that red. I just thought I'd I'd go ahead and pick this up for my own personal collection. So it's one of those thicker cards. I try to avoid some of the thicker cards. Uh, it's it's hard to get them graded through PSA because the case is just enormous. But um, I thought I'd maybe send it in to, to Beckett. Yeah, I said Beckett. Um, I actually looked into Beckett because some people told me to look into it. Um, Beckett, uh, uh, the cheapest I see you can get it graded from Beckett is like 10 bucks, And that's all the time. You don't have to be a member or anything. Um, so in the long run, if you just think I'm going with Beckett all the time because it's cheaper, joining PSA, I mean, do the math. It may end up working out better for you, especially if you get a lot of stuff graded. Um, just an idea. But make sure you check it out. Um, I've also had some people ask me about some of the, the smaller companies. Um, the other letters, there's so many different letters for companies, PGA and, and MGA, I don't even know all the letters. Uh, I usually try to avoid those cards like that, um, unless I can get a really good deal on a good card, um, just because the card is worth more than, than what it is. Um, but I'd probably break it out of it and try to get it regraded. Would I cross grade it? I guess I could. I'd have to send in all the cards together, and if I crack it out of the case, I can just send it in with the rest of the lot. 
that I'd send in for the specials. So, uh, anyways, oh, one more thing I want to tell you, uh, guy on YouTube, uh, Jay Tulio, J uh, Julia, excuse me, Josh is his name. I'll put his I'll put his uh, connection down here so you can look him up. Uh, he's been coming up with some great ideas, just some things about uh, his feelings on the way that YouTube is going with card collecting and the hobby itself, and how there's some guys that are just on YouTube right now that. Uh, it seems like they're out just to make money on the cards. They're out just to kind of bash people for wanting to share what they like to do, and um, you know, people want to share what they get in the mail, like I did today here, and and uh, share their collections and stuff, and just uh, you know, enjoy trading with people. Uh, check out some of his videos. He's got some neat thoughts, and I've got a lot of guys that subscribe uh, to Packers Corner, uh, and they're not all you know Packer fans. I've got Bears. I got I got Chicago uh, Chicago Bears. I got I got uh, Cowboys. I got Philly. It's not about the team, guys. It's just about the joy of collecting. If I find uh, a card that I that I have and some other guy wants it, um, man, you know, shoot me a, a trade. I'm, I'm not just looking for autographs. I'm not just looking for it. I'm just looking for cool cards, and Packers are it. I know that one of the ladies uh, that I connected with collects uh, the Bill stuff, and I went on, I was like, do I even have any Bill stuff? And then I remembered, I started collecting Lee Evans a while ago because he was a he was a Badger when he was in college. And I had to find these cards I had sitting in a box. Uh, and I was going to see if she maybe want to trade something for him. I mean, there's, here's, a, here's a jersey autograph of Rookies and Stars. Love Rookies and Stars. Uh, and it's numbered to, I think, 750. Here's another card I have. This card is flat out sweet. It is a almost like a refractor. It is of uh, let's see. This is show clear showcase. It's numbered one one twenty five, and it actually is number three is jersey number in Wisconsin. This card is just fantastic. I don't even know if you can see the the light on it, but it is it is a refractor. It is fantastic. I found this here. Of course, another little jersey, and then I found another little tops jersey. And these are cards that just end up having in a box. I guarantee I wouldn't do anything with them. But you know what? <laughs> I'm willing to go ahead and just trade for some type of Packer stuff, or if someone's a, a a Bills fan and just wants to shoot me some type of thing uh, for Packers, I'm willing to trade. It's not about just hanging on to these and trying to get money for them all the time. I want to trade. So if you got a good idea, shoot it towards me and um, and check out. Like I said, check out that website. I'll put the link to the guy underneath here. Check out his stuff and uh, keep shooting me good uh, emails and questions and stuff like that. Um, I'm just having fun in the hobby, and that's all I want. And uh, and thanks for the comments about my marquees I posted. Um, I didn't think I was going to get that many uh, responses. Some guys are shooting me messages and stuff like that. And uh, and I even had some people ask about some lunch boxes I have. I actually did collect lunch boxes for about, nah, about a year and a half, two years. I, I don't have all that many. I have about maybe 35 of them. But I may shoot a video just showing some of the lunch boxes I have. I really don't collect them as much anymore. So, But I got some pretty cool ones. But anyways, guys, thanks for letting me uh, share a little bit here. And uh, you guys have a great week. We'll talk to you soon.